What's up guys, this is the Rover and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to round off where we left off, we are attacking Stettin and we've got our still fairly green general, Charles Philip Belson, to lead the attack but we have a significant advantage in artillery but we'll have to get into a good position. So they've got some foot guards, Prussian fusiliers, foot guards, lots of light infantry and guards, they've got some black Brunswickers. Still lots of land there and some Swiss Grenadiers. A nice mishmash of different troops. Um, but I have the cavalry. I'd argue I have the cavalry and artillery and effectively the infantry advantage. But let's make let's see if we're, I can actually make use of it rather than resorting tactics. Uh, so that's the one thing. Definitely one thing I would say that Napoleon has over Empire is that it makes you it makes your artillery placement more important. And the fact in, in Darth Mod Empire your artillery can range just so far, their placement matters less. This hill is crying out for artillery. So let's put... To be honest, it's so big, I might want to put all of my... Well, all of my foot artillery at least. Let's group those together. Group those together. I'm still probably going to want my lights to get out there first to secure it. Then if that's going to be the centre of my formation, I'm going to want my wings to be strongly reinforced by solid line infantry. It's the Coldstreams and the Connacht Rangers, both on the left. The 15th and my Light Dragoons on the left. Dragoon Guards on the right. How it says going to follow the rest of my artillery upwards towards the hill. run them until absolutely necessary. For some reason it feels more more Napoleonic to advance my infantry up rather than running them as I do in Empire all the time. I might run this flank up just because they seem to be getting a bit itchy. And then this unit I want to just slightly kink out. And let's take my cavalry. Advance them up on the flanks. Felt the Argo on the left. Okay, now these guys are double timing. They don't need to. Don't want double to double time my rifles either, even though it makes sense to. I don't want them to leave them too exposed early because it may trigger them to attack. Here comes my horse guards. Beautiful. And where's my lovely 95th rifles? There they are. God damn. See, you can definitely tell they're bakers. Baker rifles, not bakers, bakers. Good. Speed up a little bit. Oh, I've still not moved my general staff. But he's cavalry, so he will be okay. It looks like all my stuff's probably going to be in position just fine. Foot guards are landing on the left. It's rare. Is there light infantry more on the... So there's fusiliers. And there is a felt the of yet, but they're probably hidden and being sneaky so I might not necessarily know but my god this is a fine artillery position this one especially but they're going to be awfully sore when my artillery gets into position um, I'm not sure I like my cavalry there go up more against the edge of the map
Let's advance my rifles just a bit further down the hill. Never really listen to all those jangles. Okay, you. Okay, I think I might actually prefer you there. Some will be moving forward, some will be moving backwards. It's all a bit annoying. Okay, they're all redeploying. Yep, they're all redeploying on a very strange front. But we will let them because while they move around, we have an opportunity to give fire. And also an opportunity with certain forces to advance. The right, not quite so much. You need to be careful with all these cavalry spikes. They do constrain my movement. What are those? Are those mines or something? Good. Oh, everything is just... Okay, let's have these guys barrage their artillery, and then let's get these guys barrage other targets. Landwehr moving up. So it would be ideal if we could destroy them sooner rather than later. Good stuff, they've passed into range of three units. Hopefully we can... Oh god, they're getting, they are getting close. Imagine that, you're the, you're the Prussian infantryman marching through a smoky forest knowing that that's gunfire that's caused the smoke. just see from the muzzle flashes where the enemy are. Okay, the cavalry are angry. Charge the Prussian Fusiliers, because you may get a volley off from the infantry to help. Okay, let's turn Firewall off. These are light infantry. So should go down in short order. I think we want to start manoeuvring the rest of our infantry. So they're running into a fusillade of rifle fire. Good experience for the 95th. They're advancing in column. Well, they're effectively advancing in column. Um, just make them, just kill them enough so they don't come back. That's my main concern. So these guys are in a position to shoot, to fire on them when they, the column gets into position. So I'm not going to change that so much. Come on, I just want them shattered. Good. I heard it. Ah. Oh, they're... Okay, so these are light cavalry. Or they're like they're more effectively uh, Jaegers or they're Okay, what are you? Your fusiliers, so you are Okay, 
They are light infantry and they're skirmishing my men. So push my light infantry, my line infantry up to take that into account. I would love to charge them, but the spikes make me not really want to. So Although they are going to push that flank, so I may need my general over there. Reload, lads. God, my cavalry is useless in this. Or rather, I'm allowing my cavalry to be useless. You hit the militia. Turn on fire at will. The general staff is losing members. But fire onto the militia, please. One. One more. Fire all off. And let's pivot you around like this. Good, they're advancing up against the 115th, but the rifles are providing constant withering fire. So much so, their attack has been beaten back. Turn firewall on. Because this is the main, the main effort is in the centre, so it pivots these chaps around. I can't, okay, let's bring my heavy cover around to engage their cover. It's firing into our flank. They fell back. Let's advance to make them get them moving. Smash our cavalry into their skirmishing cavalry. Complete enemy route. They may get close to actually charging our lines. But the rifles are doing an exceptional job. You should do a good job killing the skirmish cavalry as you are heavy cavalry. These guys are effectively just waiting for units to cross the. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, waiting for units to cross this barrier. Clutch, do not trust pathfinding, the, the AI pathfinding. The militia landwehr have come back. Massive routes. The 44th Regiment of Foot preparing to give fire, but I doubt they will be around for very long. Being fired upon from multiple directions. Okay, let's run. You guys. Good God, the 5th has really put up a fight. General, even the generals had a go. He's, he can't stand the sight of all these dead men. There he is. Take him out. Shooting down his aides like dogs. Come on. It's just one left. Two left, but they're routing. Okay. Set these guys to go engage these enemy musketeers that have come back. It's a 
advance with the rifles in the center. I mean, I'm assuming those are traps. Either you're about to run straight into one if it is. Sorry, the 113th. We need to find out what the devil these are. Artillery's starting to be counterproductive now. Halt. Charge the Swiss Grenadiers. You guys charge into these Grenadiers. No, to be honest, I think it's just more... It's worth me... It's worth more to me to keep my cavalry together than to risk losing them too much. Except when it comes to chop up grenadiers, because they're not doing anything useful. These, unfortunately, lovely looking red coated infantry about to be charged in the flank. Turn guard mode off and then tell them to re engage. See, there's a sneaky little trap there. There's a foot guard unit that's returned. See, the old grenadiers want to hold out, but I'm afraid they will not hold out for long. Smartly. Okay, now let's see if these are traps or not. I think they are. But let's find out. I mean, I guess not, but I don't know what else they are. Keep chasing them down. Charge onward into the musketeers. These guys have tried to form a U. Because of wavering. Those are these chaps. <laughs> Charge into them with my infantry, and they just immediately turn around and go no and run. <laughs> No, don't do that. It's silly. Oh no, there's a spiky thing. Oh, that was nice of them. Oh, they shattered. That's why. Everyone shattered. Perfect. Uh, I think let's just end it. Right now everyone's got a good good amount of experience. And begin to rebuild because one thing I've kind of forgotten about is with Empire it's really easy to not worry about the time but in this I think it actually matters region captured Pomerania so our spy will move on and he will spy on Danzig
Good. So, is Austria allied with Saxony? Nope, but I couldn't make them stop allying with Mecklenburg, so... Oh, my God. I wager that's where you're... Oh, you were going to go and hit Saxony. Okay, instead you will move up and get ready to receive Mecklenburg. When that happens, you were going to reinforce that army there. Okay. I think I may start to build another army. Because I have the funds. And it's getting to the point where we just need more troops. So let's get... Well, I can't get two units of guards. Oh, it's all just boring stuff now. All our cool units are already being built. So we get one unit of guards, and let's get... How many rifles can I get? Just the one. Get rifles and Chasseur Britannique, and then get ready to build up another force. We'll need to hit Dresden in a single turn. And I will... Which are very elite, somehow. They'll need to hit... Or maybe withstand a Mecklenburg attack and then counter-attack, but I'd still need more men than I've got. So I want these guys to stay here, just in case... Well, to be honest, they're actually quite a good little army now, so I might... Hmm. Okay, firstly... Let's recruit more line in Denmark. And how it's it? That'll be their new garrison. This arm under Fernand Ernst Gabriel, Gabriel will be thrown into action. Then you're on the march to call and good. And then Danzig, the Danzig attack is in place. Oh, see, you were going to go around the flank. But I think if I'm gearing up to hit Austria, then I'm probably going to want to just position you there. Good. So I think I want to spend a turn taking Danzig, take Courland, you know, establish myself up in this front, and then maybe declare on Saxony, because Saxony is allied with Russia and Prussia. It's an awkward one. Major nations, Russia. Break alliance with Saxony, please. I'll offer you. Eight thousand pounds. Good. Stay there. Uh, now Saxony is only allied with Prussia, and I'm at war with Prussia. So who gives a damn? So I think you could be about to get that honour. Wellesley going to stand on the Russian border, and that will protect Prague. Than Prague. Because those aren't Saxony, are they? They're Austria. Well, one of them is Saxony. Or they both. Oh no, it was territory that was showing up. Okay. So, Sir John Moore is going to position himself ready to cross the river. Prague is still very happy. Good stuff. Oh, and you were important to garrison that port, but now you are no longer. Graz is being destroyed. Okay, let's hit end turn. And let's see what the AI elects to do. Because I am concerned about Schwerin, because they've got two armies. But that just means it'll be a nice fight. Pressure's on the march, but there's not a lot they can do. I want to send I want them to See, this is why I don't want to have loose ships hanging around. Let's, let's see how many they can he can take out. Five! He took out five pr five Prussian ships. I always do the same here, but maybe this one. Oh, it's a merchantman. Just got captured. Fair enough. It is a merchantman after all. Can't ex expect miracles. Okay, so the Prussians are sneaking out to new lands. Nope. They want me to declare war on the French, which I will. But 
I do not want them to join war against the Prussians because I don't want to give them an excuse to grab up Prussian territory. I want the Prussian territory, damn it. Good, the Black Sea fleet looks like they've got a bit of a pummeling and they're now sailing back. Ooh. Yep, Saxony. Saxony is not happy. <laughs> so they deploy that army this side of the bridge, which is good. <gasps> the Belgians are on the march. Are oh, the Belgians about to attack Königsberg? Please, 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 please. I wouldn't even be mad. I mean, it's a big city, so it'd be nice to have, but if they did take it, it would be so great. It detected Howard Hood. Oh yeah, you're going on to Breslau though. Just make sure I'm not got any spies in my own city. Cities. Nope, everyone's okay. So I still want you watching the Breslau. Just at the Stuttgart garrison. You are positioning up, ready to receive Sh the Schwerin army. As will this chap now. Because he's starting to get garrison troops be built. So these two will be enough to crack this particular nut. So you maintain for now. I want to see this guy advance up to Mittau, to Courland. Raid the secret society on the way. Good stuff. We're starting to establish this front with the Prussians. Your replenishment's pretty good. You'll be done in a turn. Let's build new roads. Hell, to be honest, I want to engage Blucher. So I could take... Blucher will, will stand. Let's... Hmm. I think I, well, I think I will attack Danzig, but looking at the timer, I'm damn near um, at the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the capture of Danzig. Cheers, guys. Yeah.